Hey, so this question might seem a bit more challenging than the others you've been presented with, but what I want you to do is balance the following um, reaction. Sodium carbonate and the carbonate ion has a charge of negative two, so to balance that out, you would need two equivalents of sodium to get a neutral salt. Sodium has a charge of negative one, the sodium cation, plus the aqueous HCl, also aqueous, is going to yield what? So I want you to tell me the products and then balance the reaction. So if you've never encountered this reaction before, that's fine. You're going to learn pretty soon. And the thing I like about this reaction is that you start off with a pretty harsh mixture of reactants because there's some acidic HCl in the mixture, but the products are so safe and harmless. That's a nice feature of this type of reaction. So I'm giving you some time to think about the answer. <coughs> All right, so the products are going to be carbon dioxide, of course in the gaseous form, plus H2O, And then we're also going to have some um, table salt, NaCl, in the mix. All right. So these are the species that are generated on the product side. Now what we have to do is balance. So there's two sodiums on the product side. Therefore, I have to have two on the reactant side. Now by doubling the amount of NaCl, I also have to double the amount of chlorines. I have one chlorine on the reactant side and two on the product side. Therefore, I have to add a coefficient of two to HCl. And doing this might affect, excuse me, I just burped. Doing this might affect the amount of hydrogens. So I have two equivalents of hydrogen on the reactant side, and I also have two equivalents of hydrogen on the product side, so if that's balanced, let's check out our um, oxygens. There's three on the reactant side and three on the product side. That looks balanced as well. So that might be it, and also, yeah, let's check on the carbons, one on the reactant side and one on the product side. So this is our balanced equation.